Time is relative. I'm sure you know that by now, yes, yes. <laughs> but so is age. You can't always tell just by looking how old something is, can you? Hmm? Or someone. Like me. You might not realize it, but even though I'm a grandfather, I'm still quite young for a time, Lord. Can't judge a book by its cover, no, no. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> Talking of books reminds me of the time I met a boy on earth. John, his name was. He was young. All his life still in front of him like me. I hadn't reached even my first regeneration when I met him. <laughs> all that impatience, all that frustration. No, <laughs> I recognized that in him. Yes, of course, yes, <laughs> of course I did. I knew exactly how he felt. He was like me in a lot of ways, you know, that boy. Very clever, of course, yes, yes, very clever. <laughs> Much more clever than anyone around him could possibly realize. More than a bit of a rebel too, weren't you, young John? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Very like me. Very, very. <laughs> but that sort of thing has to be properly channeled. Or it can drive your life in the wrong direction. Not the right one. Hmm. So it was a good thing I was able to give him the benefit of my experience, wasn't it? Hmm? Entirely changed his whole life from what I gather. How do I know that? Because when I was back on Earth in 2164, I came across an old book. Stuffed it in my pocket. Too busy fighting Daleks to look at it then. But later I found out it had to be close to 200 years old. Yes. Because one of the chapters in it contained a description of my encounter with John. Remarkable coincidence. Quite remarkable. <laughs> Live and learn. Good title. Very good. Yes, very good indeed. Written by some woman called Deborah Latham. Must have been a friend of his later on in his life. Maybe he asked her to write it down so other people could benefit from my wisdom too. Hmm? Oh, you think that's nonsense, do you? Well, you listen to me. Wisdom it is. And there's no point in false modesty. Is there? Hmm? So my advice to you, whoever you are, is that you should read it. Whatever your age. Never think you're too old to learn. Never think you're too old to live and learn. <laughs> and never, never underestimate the power of coincidence. <laughs> no, indeed. 